Local Nation is a free resource for any business that wants to connect with local buyers for next to nothing using revolutionary online tools and methods. Welcome to Local Nation, because where you are is where it's at. G'day, this is Julian Siri Good, and you're watching Local Knowledge. Uh, now, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to kick off a whole series of how-to videos about WordPress for small business. Here's the idea. You need to know how to word, use WordPress in your small business on a day-to-day -day basis. This means the basics like how to log in, how to add a blog post, how to update a page, how to make basic changes without having to call a designer or a programmer. And the great news is WordPress allows you to do this. You don't have to be a geek. You don't have to know technical things to update WordPress. And the benefit to you updating your website, there's so many benefits, but let me just hit some of the big ones. A fresh up-to-date website will appeal more to consumers who are looking for your product or service. Um, think, about, think about if you had a salesperson and you never gave them up to date training on your business for five years. So they only knew what was five years ago and then you put that person in front of all of your clients. What would happen? Would that be a good representation of your small business, of what you're capable of, of what you're doing? No, but that's what every one of you are doing right now with your small business website. They're five to ten years old, they never get updated, they don't look like your business, they don't sound like your business, they don't have content about what your business is really about now. And um, you need to change that. And the way, the key thing to changing that is to get the power to change it in your hands, away from programmers and coders and web designers that you have to pay money to every single time you want a single simple little change. WordPress is a content management system or CMS and because of that it has all these abilities uh, that, that allow you as a non-technical person to make updates and changes to your website. So um, updates and changes to your website are going to benefit you from, from being able to speak directly to your consumers. It's going to greatly improve your search engine rankings because as you go in to make changes, let's say you update your home page, you update a product page, that gets seen by Google as, as your website is more relevant because you've changed it more often than the average Joe small business person that doesn't ever update their website. That means your search engine results are higher than theirs, which means you get more free sales leads. So this is critical to using today's free web marketing to drive tons of business to your website. It's really not that hard for a local small business today to get on the first page of Google. There are some basic steps that you can follow, but the key is you've got to be on the right website platform. That's where it starts. It all starts there, which is why we recommend WordPress so heavily. Also, so I'll certainly include some links to, uh, to other WordPress posts about why you should use this for small business uh, in, in my show notes today. But uh, keep in mind, WordPress is free to use. It's always going to be free. The only thing you have to pay for as a small business is about 100 bucks a year in website hosting. And that's brilliant. So that'll get you started. Uh, from there, you can go and buy a book like WordPress for Dummies from your you know, local Barnes & Noble or local, better yet, your better local, uh, your local bookstore and uh, learn how to use it yourself completely, free of charge, right? Or at the very least, you can go to somebody like us that will take and use WordPress and bundle it up with a whole bunch of great marketing services and sell a nice package to you that gets you up and running. We have one uh, called the Percolator Package, which is $1,000 and includes search engine optimization, blog marketing, uh, updating putting your logo and your various content on your website and covering some training, right? For a grand, uh, you know, you can still go out right now as a small business and just spend $5,000 on a website design that doesn't do anything more than look pretty. Never mind actually drive sales leads to your business. So look, WordPress enables people like me to deliver much better value to you, all right? So um, it's just good all the way around and it's inexpensive and uh, just a real quick example, you know, I have a, a customer here in my local market that I took care of about a year ago and he was spending close to $5,000 a month on Yellow Pages ads and he doesn't have any more Yellow Pages ads. He's eliminated that cost and he's doing very well just from getting leads from his website because he's ranked well on Google and Yahoo. So he gets lots of free leads. He's on the first page and uh, he loves it. He absolutely loves his website. And think about how much money he's saving every year. And he spent, you know, about a grand with us getting our website set up that would do all this for him. And isn't that a brilliant replacement? Uh, you know, 60 grand a year versus a thousand dollar one-time investment. What are you going to do, right? Well, the tools allow you to do this. You just have to get into it and spend some time learning about this stuff. And you'll be a really happy camper in no time. So. That's the only monologuing I'm going to do in this series. The rest of the time you're going to see 
uh, video on-screen tutorials. You're actually going to see my computer desktop and how I'm doing each step of what to do. Everything again from logging in to adding posts, all these things that you're going to do all the time in WordPress. And um, I'll also include screenshots, so if you don't want to watch the video, you can just kind of see step by step how do I do this. And I'll try to keep each one just a couple minutes long and very focused, so you can just hone in on what you need to know. So that's it. What every small business should know about WordPress. Let's get this series kicked off now with the first lesson, which is how to log into WordPress. All right, so let's get started with our first lesson, what every small business should know about WordPress. You have to log into WordPress if you're going to change anything, so we've got to look at how to do that. I'm going to use an example from a real client of ours. We just recently put up this website for Romeo's Pizza. They're right here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Absolutely amazing pizza. I can say that because we've been going there for years. It really just kind of happened that uh, we got talking one day to the owners, Amy and Timmy. G'day, Amy and Timmy. And they found out we did website stuff for small businesses and... The next thing we knew, we were making them a website, right? So we just put this up recently, and it's a WordPress website, and Amy and Timmy need to know, how do I log in? How do I make changes? How do I update specials? How do I do these things that every small business is going to want to do with WordPress? So first of all, you go to your website. That's step one. Go to your website. Right now, we're at www.romeospizzawestpalm.com, and you can see your homepage. From here, this is real simple. We're going to type in wp login for login dot PHP and I'm going to hit the enter key and that's going to take us to the login screen on WordPress that looks like this and from here we just have to type in our username and our password now you'll know what these things are the username and password because you've set WordPress up yourself or somebody like us here at local nation have set you up a WordPress website and we'll give them to you alright you can also click on remember me and then the login button and that's going to go ahead and log us into the back end of WordPress. This is the WordPress dashboard. So it's as easy as that, folks. You go to your website, you type in your username and password, and you're done. Now you're logged in. So that concludes the first session. The next session is going to be a, uh, a tour of the WordPress dashboard. This will get you familiarized with everything that WordPress does and where to go to do various things. Stay tuned for that in session two.